Joseph Sasser, a soldier with the 50th Engineer Combat Regiment, U.S. Army, was stationed on the American island of Attu off the coast of Alaska. He was positioned on what became known as Engineer Hill when the Japanese troops attacked in a desperate and frenzied bonsai charge. It came in at uh, early, early. It was in the dark. There were three of us in one pup tent. Somebody came through, said the Japs have broken through. Get up. And everybody got up. Luckily, we had pitched our tent where the ravine crested up Engineer Hill. So we boiled out of that thing and we moved on up on the embankment there that the engineers had built alongside the road. And that's where we took refuge. And if you didn't have your boots on, you, you came like you were. And if I'd have been cold, I probably wouldn't have known it anyhow with the excitement and, and everything, because it was bedlam. You can't imagine, because these Japs were stacked on top of each other down the ravine. And that first spot where we had put our tent, there were two guys that moved in and set up exactly where we were, and they were stabbed in that sack right there. And that's, that's how close I came. That was some kind of day. Despite its ferocity, the attack was unsuccessful, and the Americans held control of Attu Island. Casualties were high on both sides. Led by Colonel Yasuyo Yamazaki, the Japanese who survived the assault killed themselves in ritual suicide. 